Hey guys, what's up? I am Jason Allen and this is my YouTube channel. So if you're new, uh, thanks for watching. I am new in this YouTube family. Well, not new, but it's just a fresh start for 2020. So I'm really excited. I'm just getting used to not having someone take over uh, my creative space. So please don't forget to subscribe and like and share the word. And uh, yeah, keep on watching. So today's look is going to be pretty colourful but still on a dark side because I think I'm a bad bitch and when I do wake up I just want to look very strong and I, I always love things to be super colourful but intense and very out there. As much as I love soft glam, I also love to be extra and today's look is pretty extra. And for that, I am going to be trying uh, the Anastasia palette and this is the Elisa Edwards collaboration with Anastasia. Um, it's super colourful. Uh, I don't own this palette. I have actually borrowed this palette from my friend Sherlyn. So thank you Sherlyn. Uh, she is one of my best friends and she just supports me in all of my madness. I'm so grateful. I have so many, I have such good friends. Um, as time goes by and this channel will grow, amen. You guys will meet all of them and they will tell you more about me. Uh, but yes, thank you Sherlyn. If you don't know who Elisa Edward is, then you might just subscribe and leave. <laughs> but she is this really, really famous drag queen. She is a legend. She's everything. She's a tongue pop queen. She's a dead drop queen. She's all of it. And we love her. So, still can't do it. But, yeah. Uh, I really love Alyssa Edwards. So, I'm really excited to try this out. I've heard and I've seen a lot of videos on the internet. Uh, Anastasia palettes or Anastasia eyeshadows usually tend to have a lot of fallout. And that really happens mostly when a palette is really pigmented and there's a lot of good color payoff. So it's expected, uh, however, I am not uh, a big fan when it comes to fallouts because I, then I just don't know what to do if it just falls on my face. Um, so I am going to take my uh, anti shine powder from Trilin and I'm gonna just apply this right over here just in case if I have a fallout. I just don't like doing this because I personally feel that sometimes uh, doing this just makes my under eyes look a little cakey because the powder just sits there and overcooks but I hope this will not happen with uh, Trilin setting powder because it's supposed to be a touch of an anti shine powder and very mineralized and granules are supposed to be super 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 fine so I hope that does not make my under eyes look cakey. So I'm going to take my D5 uh, concealer, the Derma D5 from Krylin. I'm just going to take it on a concealer brush. It's little, well it's not little, it's way too light with my skin tone. I usually use this concealer as my under eye highlight. The reason I'm using such a light concealer is because I want the pigments to pop. And I'm going to use a lot of neon colour from this palette. So I need that extra support and I need that extra help from my base. Let's see how colors come through. It's really tricky and I know a lot of people put white or like a super 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 light concealer but I just don't, I just don't own uh, concealers that are that light. Also because I don't think I am someone who wears a lot of colored eyeshadows. I do wear a lot of color lipsticks. So this look is definitely a little off my comfort zone but it's the month of pride. In India and I wanted to do something super colorful and super poppy but at the same time super badass and unapologetic so here we are <laughs> so the first shade that I'm gonna use is uh, Texas made which is this pink um, however unicorn tribe is also calling my name but I think I will go with Texas made which is this shade uh, first and I am going to take that on my brush. See now, see this is what I'm talking about. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a lot of kickback as you hit the pan. And when I say kickback, it's basically the shadow just gets all over and sometimes they can just travel to the other color. And it could be a mess, but I don't think so. Um, 
it happens with most of the eyeshadow palettes. So I'm going to take the shade, I'm going to dab it off, and I am going to apply it as a transition shade, which is right on my crease. Oh my god, do you think I did? I was... I'm actually not surprised that she's pregnant. Wow, she is pregnant. So, this is Texas Made from the Anastasia palette. I am just dabbing it around my crease so that the eyeshadow sticks. So, I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush and I am going to start blending the edges. So, I'm going to drag it out so that I get my desired eye shape. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Now that I've blended that, I don't really see a lot of fallouts. Uh, actually, there's none as of now, so that's a good thing. <laughs> okay, so the next color that I'm going to use is Brick Road, which is this yellow. Uh, I'm, I'm at, the reason why the reason why I took this palette is literally because of two colors, which is Dream It. Uh, I might do a look with it very soon, but this yellow is just calling my name, and I love. A yellow eyeshadow, I just don't know why, but I hope this works. I really hope. Usually, brushes don't really tend to give yellow and colors which are more on the neon side a lot of justice. Um, like this pink, but this pink did wonders. I'm gonna still use yellow with my finger just to see what the color payoff is. Uh, let me do a swatch first, just this. Sometimes yellow can be very chalky. This might be too chalky. Let's do a second layer of swatch on it. I might just use it as it is with my finger, but then I would also go back to the brush just to give it extra love. But I just hope this yellow works because I really want this yellow to work. So I am stamping this. My eyes. Uh, I think I should use a brush. Okay, so I'm gonna take this brush. I know it looks like a painting brush, but it's actually one of my favorite brushes. This is my Krylin 7 Contour Genius Stable R3507 brush. Uh, I'm gonna take this color and I am going to add it. In. Okay, now I see a lot of fallout, but I'm not mad at it as long as I see the pigment. I just wish there was more pigment with this yellow. I have, I just had so much hope with this yellow, but it's fine. I know yellow is a very difficult color to be made, so... Do you guys ever use a yellow? Um, and if yes, um, let me know. <laughs> but let me know the ones which are less patchy. <laughs> I... I just don't know. It's not staying on my eyelid. Am I doing something wrong? And I don't want to make a cut crease. Like, I'm making a cut crease, but the whole idea is to blend it because I want it to be like a smoky eye situation, but the pink is just taking over it. I do not like that much. See, the pink just took over it. So, what I've decided is, I am just gonna add a little bit of uh, water, because that usually helps pigments come through. So give me a minute. So I'm taking a damp brush. This is a little frustrating, but I'm going to try. I mean, you guys can see it on camera, but in person, it is so patchy, you guys. I cannot wait to it. Ah, I'm getting frustrated. There is fallout all over my nose right over here and it's super patchy on my eye 
not a big fan. I am going to dust it all off. And I'm going to start it over. So I'll see you guys in like... In like... So I wiped it all off. And now I have to put the pipe from Derma again. And I am... Splitting the product. While this concealer is still sticky, I'm going to try and stick the yellow eyeshadow again. So I'm going to take the yellow, which is Rick Road from the Anastasia. So it is working. Hope it works. Oh my god, it's hard to see. Right now, the yellow is all in the bed and it's all in the Okay, much better. Much, much, much better. So I'm gonna just press and tap this color. I am going to just decide. There is a massive fallout. I think my base is gonna turn yellow. Adding it on. Don't want to lose the pigment just yet. Just dragging this out. Because that's where I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. I'll see you guys. Alright, so I have applied this with my eyes. Now it's time to blend it. And if I blend this and this will go missing, it'll piss me off, but I'm gonna do it. Here it is. I am going to blend this baby out. So my whole point was to have a smoky eye and I just see that point going away. <laughs> I'm gonna blend this only from the edges. I'm gonna scratch and blend this shade out. There is so much of fallout on my face. I don't like this. I literally have Half of this palette I shed on my <laughs> Just the yellow one. My eyes feel heavy. It's time for my lower lashes. For my lower lashes, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'll have to. I don't know how I'm gonna practice with my lower lashes, but I'm just gonna try. I'm gonna dust. I'm gonna dust all of this all out that happened again. I feel like at the end of this video, my whole face is gonna look yellow. Trust me, that's not the look I was going for. <laughs> okay, for my other eyes, I am going to again apply more concealer. I mean, this is great for a photo shoot, but I don't think how good this is gonna be for to actually go out. This face would just look okay. Alright, I'm gonna take the yellow on my finger and I'm gonna pack it like so. That looks messy I know. But one thing I know is because I want it to be smoky, I'm fine at being like that for now because I am going to let it all out. <laughs> but the fallouts are Bad. They're just really bad. And I'm an Anastasia brow girl, so don't get me. I'm all going for the brand. I love the brand. Anastasia, if you'll make a yellow again, please work on this. But any brand out there that's gonna make a yellow again, please work on this. And I think the next yellow that I want to try is James Charles Morphe palette and then Jeffree Star's uh, 
jaw breakup on it. Okay, so now that it's all looking messy, which is fine, I'm okay with looks looking messy when it's in the process because by the end of it all, it's going to look just perfect, so it's fine. You have to work your way through it. Doing the same thing, I'm going to add some concealer so that the concealer gets wet and the shadow sticks to it. Again, really just messy. Really put this all in. Okay, so we have somehow made this work. So now I'm going to add Beast, which is this black. I'm just gonna elongate my inner corner with that. Now that I have that done, we shall tight line our eyes with the same black eyeshadow. I'm just going to wing it out just a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Tight line and wing it out. Okay, now that this is done, it's time to add black cardio to eyes. So I'm using the pack. Black casual pencil. So next step is to use the Savannah eyeliner pen. Do you guys see the difference between the two? This is so much neater, and that is fine, but it just adds that boom on your eyes. So put it in the same on the other side. We're getting somewhere. I like this. For mascara, I'll be using the Colossal Big Shot Volume Express Mascara by Maybelline. So that is what is going to go in my eyes. Be super careful, especially if you have like a super light color under your lighter because you don't want to put black and then cover the yellow. On that yellow that we worked so hard on to get. So for lips, I'm going to use the pack of Long Lasting Cold Pencil, the same one that I used to tight line my eyes. I am going to use this for my lips. I think I'm going to add gloss on it, but I'm not very sure. Let's see, I am going to add big lashes and see how it feels about it. I know, enjoy them. Alright, so I have added my falsies. I'm going to just um, put some mascara so that my natural lashes marry the fake ones. So I started with highlighter, and for that I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty uh, Ginger Bench and Moscow Mule Kilowatt. Uh, almost out of it. I'm just going to run through both the shades, just like so. I'm going to just add it. Boom. I don't want too much highlighter because. I still want my eyes and my lips to still be the strongest element, so I am barely putting any. I just want this blush tone color on my face so that my face doesn't look too flat. Take a charge, take a charge. 
So this is the final look. I am obsessed. Uh, I think I like the lip with the gloss, also because the liner was cracking. So I think gloss is the vibe. But I love it.